Three legs in a row now to Jenkins, four out of the last five. Certainly Dudbridge produced his best darts in winning the third set of this match, but his performance since then has been in comparison lacklustre, and Jenkins has uh, certainly stepped in, taken every advantage. And now, getting away first time here, he has a great chance, and look, he's trying to talk them in. 65. He's got every chance of finishing it off. It finishing it off in the next 10, 15 minutes. Got to come to a more open target. Jenkins should take the lead here. Not if he stays in that bed, he won't. Quickly rectifying the problem. 81. Needing more of those, Mark, and more yet. 140. Mm -hmm. Signalling there with his hand the way that dart dipped. Again, I think it's flight related. It doesn't happen every time he throws. It doesn't happen 16. sometimes at all when he throws. But all too often, there's a diversion in the flight. And I don't think there should be. Oh. Well, <laughs> well the, 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 the energy of the second dart seemed to dislodge the first one there. Look at what. Yeah, look at that. It did a little twirl and disappeared. And uh, for any of you who aren't too familiar with the rules, it only scores if the point is in contact with the board at the moment of retrieval. So he's 20 on the deck, quite literally. You could almost hear the second dart saying shift. Easy for <laughs> Out of my way. Can you recall 155? Oh, no. Well, to leave 96, so Dudbridge now, 119. You feel that he's got to take this out. He'll go the 19 route. That's 62 left. 12 leaves the ball. Double 13 in this case. Backing each way, unlucky right on the wire, and a great effort that from Dudbridge. So Jenkins to go two up, needs treble 20 for double eight. Can't check out now. Dudbridge 26, he'll go for double 13 for sure, Dave. Well, he needs it rather badly now, double 13. Still in there fighting, Dudbridge. But Jenkins with the darts here, and he's only got to win the legs with the darts now. He knows the equation. Off and running. Off and flying. 120. Over the course of the week, Terry Jenkins has more big starts than any other player. Three 160s before this match. Quite a number of 120s as well. Added another one to the list a few moments ago. Followed up with a 140, and Dudbridge still to get away. Yes, and he has got a mountain to ascend now. His leg drifting away from no him. Score. Drifting, drifting dangerously onto the rocks here. His chances. A win here would put Jenkins just one. Leg away from a semi-final place against John Farr. Some time beginning to run out for Mark Dudbridge. Got to start. Got to start, Mark. No mercy from Jenkins. A 130 using the ball leaves him on 111. So that's 51 left. Tops for a 12 dart finish. Well, he may take 13, he may take 14, he may take 15. Whatever, Dudbridge has got to get away here, otherwise the whitewash, which would have occurred had Jenkins hit the double there. And I can't believe it. He cannot believe that he hasn't hit a double. Ah. Oh, well. Now Jenkins can hit the double, Dan, and at least Dudbridge will not have been whitewashed. <laughs> Good old Dudders. Be a good leg to win, wouldn't it, for Dudbridge? 
<laughs> well, well it would be deja vu, although it's not the last leg of the match. It was against a certain Mr. Jenkins. And frankly, this, this Jenkins is even further ahead than uh, Andy was. And he's not going to make the same mistake of missing doubles to let Mr. Dudbridge in. And the equation is very simple for Dudbridge. Got to win the next two legs. And he's got to get started a little bit more lively than he did in that last leg. 40. Well, Terry Jenkins would like to think this is going to be the last leg of a fantastic night here. One game quite, quite outstanding between Raymond van Barneveld and Adrian Lewis. The former going through 4-3, the world champion on his way. He hopes to the World Grand Prix title too. And Jenkins here, if he prevails, and he should at this point, will look back at a pretty ordinary day at the office. Yeah, but he'll have done the job. He's averaged around 85 so far, which uh, isn't fantastic, but uh, at this format, it's not as bad as it sounds. At four, five, maybe in this case, seven points to that, and he would, under normal circumstances, be averaging in the low 90s. You're right, a decent rather than spectacular performance, Dave. Disappointing from Dudbridge, and he knows he is capable of better things and bigger things. And this seemed to just sparkle a little back. I believe it was the third set you said, John. But uh, hasn't been able to maintain that amount well, of momentum. Just it. gone in little snatches. But the game isn't over yet. Jenkins is stuttering a bit now. 43. Well, there's every chance here that Dudbridge might level the setup. Then, not for the first time in this match, into the deciding set will into the deciding leg will go. It happened in the well, case of the second set. It happened in the case of the fourth set. Could do with a 180 here. Would be big, big pressure. Well, well he'll take that, well, and Dudbridge knows well. that time is not really on his side. You've got to hit this 91. Travel 17. Double 16. Well, a great effort there from Mark Dudbridge. The double 16 would have saved his skin. Terry Jenkins wants 140 for the match. Another one of those will do him. And double 10 to wind it all up. Oh, match point. And that could have saved a heap. Load of trouble, which might come his way as a result. And Dudbridge takes it to all. Would have been oh. dead and buried.